All right, hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to Resident Evil 2. It came out a year ago, uh, pretty much, and we're, we passed on it. We kind of considered it. It's like, yeah, maybe maybe we'll play this, but we were just busy. Uh, I played the, I had played Resident Evil 2 on the Nintendo 64 way back in college. It was about, what, 10 years ago? My roommate and I had a Nintendo 64 in our dorm room, and we each pitched in a couple of games from our collections, and yeah, I wanted to pick up. Resident Evil 2 for because she was a huge fan. The cosplay is Claire and such. So that's how I was introduced to Resident Evil. Had a, my roommate and a ton of friends on the floor that absolutely loved the games. And I got to watch over their shoulders and see how they played Resident Evil's 4 and 5. But, and then you've played 7, right? And then yes. we, we actually. About what was it a week or so before we started dating? Yeah, we played Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles together. Yeah, which is part of the impetus for us diving into this. Apart from the fact that Resident Evil uh, Three will come out somewhere, I, I'm going to try and time it uh, so that this series ends the day before Resident Evil Three comes out. Uh, which means some of the episodes might have been a little long on F uh, Resident Evil 1 and 2, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, while we get going, let's take a look at some of these. Oh, wow. They look very different from the models that they had had for the last five to s or so years. Yeah. Their faces look really different. Yeah, they do. Uh, they... They look more human, but th they... they look less anime human. Yeah, they look but... human human. It's weird. It's it's sort of it's that thing where it's nice when you have a stylization. I, the previous models almost looked like something that you would find in Final Fantasy, but more Americanized. This is. <laughs> oh. What? Do you want to use the special screen filter? Oh, would it would it put it in sepia tone or black and white? That'd be funny. Yeah. Okay, so that's her classic jacket. That's what the kind of outfit that she had in the original game. Mm. <laughs> Military. Wait, what's Elsa Walker? This almost looks like something out of a a sled team, like bobsledding no or something. It actually looks kind of cool. Looks really cool, yeah. So oh. what's the what what are his extra outfits? Well, he's got injured, classic police, classic police injured, police police injured. Eh, I don't like any of the police ones. And what? casual and Arclay Sheriff, but no. <laughs> if they wanted to go all Rick Grimes, I Walking just, Dead. I really like the noir. He looks styling. Mm hmm. Okay, so who are we gonna play? That's a tough one. Do we even know if there's differences between the two characters? Oh, yes. Yes, there is. There's definitely a difference. I remember... I think in Claire's, she... I'm trying to remember this correctly. There's this little girl that's running around, and you have to help her. And I think Claire is the one that tends to run into her more often and tries to help her. I don't really remember what happens in Leon's. I, I think I initially played Claire's and then I played Leon's and maybe I paid a little played a, paid blah paid a little bit less attention to Leon's because while the games are I mean it's the same station, it's the same format. You do things in different orders and you acquire different keys and different items. So your series of events vary. Oh. So yeah, we have to... If we want to get the story, we really should probably play with both characters. Mm -hmm. Which is, to some degree, I kind of wish Resident Evil 1 had done this. Because... There obviously was stuff... Well, I mean, there's obviously well, the Rebecca. Chris story that we missed. Yeah. And Rebecca and some other things. Mm -hmm. And so having this actually be two different... 
uh, two different perspectives. Um, I'd say let's just start with Leon, then do Claire. So you want to play both? Probably. I mean, the thing is, we have a time-saving measure that is not going to be available in any of the other games. Which is the unlimited ammo mod? Which is, yeah, it's DLC. It's not a mod, it's the DLC. It's DLC. Like, I, I just, I bought the complete pack when this was on sale at Christmas. So... If we wanted to, health automatically. If we wanted to, we can absolutely Enemies just are like. Weaker, but uh probably standard is fine. Yeah, I mean, if I need a boost, I just grab the mini gun. <laughs> Look, man, I'm serious. Okay, I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay. Well, it was last Friday night. I was. Walking home from the bar, this good. woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse, like a walking corpse, man. Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink their teeth in a little. I saw a tax somebody. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. He's going to hit something. Or run off the road. Oh, and he's an oil truck. I need some sleep. <gasps> oh shit! Okay, we might have to change the costume. You don't like around. it? Eh, maybe not. It's okay. That's weird. I'm just getting a weird midpoint between, like, Jude Law and... <laughs> <laughs> like a fake Jude Law, and it's confusing. Like, I know I've got my weird issues. Is this Matt Mercer for this one? Do we know? Uh, probably. I think he's been the voice of Leon since... Yeah. I, after Resident Evil 4, I think. There was it, Mercier, and then there's Mercer. I think he's replaced Hello? him. Hello? Anybody there? Doesn't sound like him though. Hmm. Something's not right. Uh 
Oh, he's you been right. bitten. Don't move. I'll be back for you. Is it going to be the trucker? It's probably going to be the trucker. Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. No, it's someone else. Freeze! I'll shoot! What the? Takes a couple hits. I think at the very least I will get the infinite pistol. Oh, it's still coming? Ripes. At this point, it barely has a skull. Shit. Well, guess who doesn't have ammo anymore? This guy. Uh. You got a key. Escape from the store. Oh, dude, pizza. You have to escape from the store. That thing might be... The other security guard? Yeah. The other guy's probably going to turn. I will admit, I almost kind of preferred the old school look because it was slightly less authentic. Hey, Seeing what the... are you doing? Seeing the flesh tear was less cool. You locked him in there? Yeah. Is there another door? There's got to be another door. Uh, let's see. Ah. I might have limited ammo, uh, inventory space again. Mm hmm That's gonna be fun to work with. Uh-oh, he doesn't look right. No, no, he's turning. <gasps> oh my, there's more, run! Get off, get it, get, get it away, get it away. No, 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 no. Oh. Wouldn't that kill you what in this universe? <sighs> I thought one bite was all it took. Oh, wait, Don't she... shoot! Get down! But I'm out of ammo. Yeah, where did that bullet come from? You alright? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later. When we're safe. Holy shit. Wait, it really? This many? <laughs> going on I don't know hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station wait you're a cop yeah Leon Kennedy you are Claire Claire Redfield you live around here no I'm looking for my brother he's a cop too well it's a good thing we found each other I don't know what to expect anymore a different opening. Yeah, it is. I just remember it starting in the town right in front of the... Yeah, the police station where much of this takes place. It 
So what are you looking up? The voice actor for Leon. And the answer is, I have no idea who this guy is. He's Nick, or not Nick. Uh, he's, yeah, he's Nick Apostolides. Attention huh. all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. God, this is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. They kept the blood on his collar. The more he was I bitten. think you're supposed to get bit no matter what. Mm. Looks like we're walking from here. Ugh. More like running. Yeah, good call. Oh, Jesus ah! Leon, we gotta back up. Uh oh. What the? Is that the oil truck? I think it is. Holy shit. There, get out. Get out now! I can't! Hold on! It's not safe. Go on ahead. I'll meet you at the station. I'll be there. This is out of control. You're out of ammo still. Well, that's not an entrance. You have to get past that, probably, right? Or... <gasps> oh! uh, a little stickier. No, this doesn't no, look like it. No, it doesn't look it. Look like it. it. Unfortunately, I don't see an entrance. Do you? Or... Is it through this alley? Yeah. Everybody, they've all turned. <sighs> there it is, the station. got kind of stinky uh, motion blur going on. I'll see if I can turn it off. Mm -hmm. Well, at this point, you've been bitten twice. Oh, so you can change it if you want to? Do you, you would prefer to have the hair? Yeah. They just looked a little weird. Mm-hmm. 
Going with the classics or the updated classics? Updated classics. Okay. Motion blur do we have? There it is. Turn that off. Motion blur gets stinky. Uh, People are see. saying lock the girl out. Yeah, Claire Claire's still out there. But then again, she wouldn't be able to get through all those zombies to get through the door anyway. I have to find another way in. Okay, that looks a lot better. I raised the minimum brightness too much, and it was just going to look kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this looks better. I, I liked the idea of the noir, but it was like... I think I was getting... Uh, he was almost looking too Tom Plastic. holland -y for me. Yeah. You know, kind of the, the baby face without the hair to really frame it. Uh-oh, that says keep out. Why would you... Eh. They could have been hold Hello? holding up a zombie in there. Is anybody here? Yeah. Uh, why did you do that? Eh. Yeah, that was, uh... Just do things without thinking. Well, you'll definitely need the ammunition. There's the typewriter. Oh. Hey, and I can just save without having to worry about stuff. Oh, hi. Raccoon Police Department. Yeah, this looks much better with the hair. There has to be someone here. Not good. David! Marvin! You there? I found a way out! It's in here! <laughs> Ah. Send reinforcements. East hallway. I gotta find that guy. Yeah, I do like the hair. Yeah. A lot more. If the noir version had hair, I'd be super down with it. Okay, deluxe weapons added. So, um... <laughs> Okay, well, Mini it's good to have a combat gun? knife. There's right? also the Albert model. Oh, let's see. Knife? Hopefully that's usable in close quarters combat. <laughs> Just if it grabs onto you. <laughs> Just waltz through this game with the RPG. Um, okay, I think what I'm going to do... Uh, Oh, those are infinite, too. Yeah, these are all infinite ammo. So I, I think what I'm going to do is go vanilla for this. Mm -hmm. And then Claire Redfield is going to have a sudden surge of firepower. I look at the bloody footprints. Yep. Something's been through here. Someone. Or what was formerly someone. And yeah, if if I do find myself frustrated by anything, we just... And I don't know. It's really tempting for me to at least just get the infinite ammo pistol. So I don't have to think about mm -hmm. pistol ammo and just oh, exile that Oh, those look like forever. medallions need to go in there. Yeah, they do. Oh, this is so much slicker. No, I don't know. I can't control myself. I'm going to go get the pistol at the least. We're not, we're not going to go bananas here. Within reason. Oh, you can actually combine what? Ooh. That's exciting. Shh. I don't have to worry about my crippling lack of accuracy. Uh, our, our playthrough of Resident Evil 1 was nice because it did remind me of the traditional means to do everything from the camera perspectives to the limited resources but oh look they tried barricading these huh what a puzzling a police department combination oh dude lot. wait hold up mm -hmm. who made professor layton i don't know gonna Use the tape, or the knife on the tape. Hey. Hmm. 
doesn't seem to work. But I don't. Wait, this is a spade room. Is this okay, the eastern hall? That's the main hall. Making use of the map. I'll show you points of interest. I items you have found and haven't picked up. Oh, so there's a first aid spray back there. Oh, this is so nice. But don't we need to try to get to that guy? Yeah, but... I mean, there's no time limit. Okay, seriously though, I, I have to ask for people. Can, can somebody figure out who owns Professor Layton and who made him? Is that Capcom? Professor Layton's a well, Capcom game. Well, yeah, Bill, because oh of, remember he had the crossover with Ace Attorney. I mean, they could have gotten the rights. I don't know. But, like, I've never wanted a crossover Resident Evil Professor Layton game. <laughs> I had never even conceived of the notion of that. But You already do a lot of detective work in these. But now that I know, I might... Oh, there's something in the safe down there. Yeah. I might honestly have to play this keyboard and mouse. Just because of the whole over-the-shoulder perspective? Oh, it's a combination lock. Yeah. It, yeah. Ugh, time yeah, for me I, to get I think in part, less comfortable. the reason why... Oh, wait, the no, I can't. That sucks. Oh, because you are... I'd have to do the monitors. I'll just live for the time being. Mm -hmm. Professor e Evil Resident Layton. Oh, man. Green herbs. I like the names you guys are throwing down right now. But, like, I'm just imagining Professor Lightning just going bananas in here. Guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know, while we are the home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to a few of the more unusual points of interest in our, that our city has to offer. The Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum, which is why it's so very eclectic and has so many random pieces of art for you to peruse. If you think about it, it just makes perfect sense. Don't worry, the killer traps were installed before anyone even knew they were there. Also, many of the objects might serve as clues for random puzzles. I guess Ooh. what I said doesn't make sense. The traps were installed before we put the police in here. <laughs> Don't worry, they've gotten the used to it. Here. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era where you couldn't navigate from one room to another without having an object that you found in a separate, entirely different room. And 50 billion different keys. Boy, you should hear our cops jangle. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. Clearly, they were using the children for their maniacal experiments. They were, actually. They were? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That was just a guess. But, <clears throat> I mean, uh, how else... Uh, it would be just too easy for them to use unwanted children without parents or any next of kin as subjects to human experiments. Because, Pretty much. Yep. Though if I remember right, they kidnapped all the kids. Or did they kill their parents to make them orphans? Uh, so then they were so, brought to the orphanage. I, I don't know. I, okay. I've read a lot of wiki today. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. Oh, and that's it. Yes, it's a giant umbrella. Ah, we need a spade key. Oh, you're right. Uh, let's see, waiting room. So it actually looks like we have to go to the Western Hall first. Well, time to just randomly adventure. Sorry, Mr. Cop. I don't know how to get to you. But the Western Hall is where we were supposed to meet the guy The guy said Eastern Hall. He's at the Eastern Hall? Pretty sure. Oh, well. I, I know you were, you were saying how, like, the first game was kind of nice. Because, like, it showed you how things used to be. Oh, spade key. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time... I do really appreciate 
the smoothness of this in comparison. Like, being able to move around, being able to go through doors without watching that awkward cutscene of a door opening every single time. Oh, like there, I know. There are massive, massive perks to freaking spade key. Mm-hmm. How do I inventory health and recovery items? I'm going to examine this key for a second. St storage wait, room. Storage room. Oh. Oh, it's the storage room from the... I... From that rest stop all the way back there, isn't it? Yeah, we should probably go put that away. Mm-hmm. You surely don't need it. Yep. So I don't I don't know how much we want as like random Resident Evil factoids. Uh I don't think this one's a particularly big spoiler. Um but the not that specific orphanage, but one of the other orphanages that they ran is where Wesker came from. Mm. Uh specific Oh And then they experimented on him. The check mark means it's done. It means there's nothing left with it. Ah, okay. I was just like, wait a second, this is a check next to it. So yeah, we can discard this. And that's what's that nice. little tiny com Oh, that's the computer that you saw him on, right? Yeah. How the heck do we get out of here? We need to find the key. Uh. Maybe you find the key in that statue up there with the lion. Let's take a look. Yeah, actually. Because go up to the top. At least it's it's a... It's a puzzle. No, 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 not this one. Oh, the other one. The other one. Because what we might be able to find are the symbols for the different, I think it's like the constellations or something on them. Now, the medallion, there might be a medallion inside the shield, if you notice. So let's take a look. We have Pisces. We have Aquarius. Leo. Libra. Well, no, Libra, no, Lyra. Um, Wait, what's going on? I think it's just random noises, but From it's things spooky. things rattling around. All the same. Yeah, I don't I don't think we solved that one yet. I haven't seen any clues. Have we gone up around this side? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, There's an exclamation point. But is that... The waiting room is the only one we could get into, so maybe the key is in here and I just missed it. I could do without hearing him going, ha, ah, ah. ha. So we need to find a way to get into the safe, which might have oh, the first wait, key. Hold up, computer? No. We need to find a combination. Any clues? I just pressed Witcher Vision. Oh, there's Witcher Vision in this? <laughs> no, there's not. Oh. That's what threw me off. Uh Hmm. I mean, look around the main hall a little bit more. Yeah. If this is an art museum, there might be yeah, pictures I, on the wall in the main hall. Whatever it is, I don't think there's anything in here. Can I see what this is? Oh, it, that just means there's the safe there. The safe is there. Oh, that's so weird. I don't even have to press A to open doors. He just does it. I mean, you could try crawling into the keep out room. Uh, that is actually the next potential option. Because it did start opening. It started to open, but you had to... And then you're like, why would you do that? <laughs> I mean, if it's the only other place to go, I I bet, though, that they locked it off because there are some people that are infected in there. Which begs the question of how Leon isn't going to get infected, considering he's been bitten a couple times. 10% of the population is immune to the T-virus. Really? Yep. Interesting. Like I said, I have a bunch of random factoids now that I've been reading a uh... buttload of Resident Evil. I'm just going to see a body and a face somewhere in the dark. I will admit... Not as big on the flashlight situation. Mm -mm. But I understand it. Oh, you need another fuse? Mm -hmm. Oh shit, this is the game with the, the creepy dude that chases you. I 
I don't know a thing about him. I really only vividly remember Claire's side of the story over Leon's. I played both, but I don't really remember Leon's side as much. I just remember the liquor was one of the early enemies for Claire. And it was in the room off to the left. It's interesting how they... Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, you have to use, do a strength thing, did you see? Let's just hold. Guess I might as well test doorknobs. Oh gosh, there's so many bodies in here. Uh. I mean, it's just the one, maybe. There is body in here. It looks dead, but can you burn it? What? What's the A? Ah. Can you knife? Use the knife on it? I knifed him. No, but like in his head. Oh. Do they do? Ew. Uh, don't. Holy I, crap. I don't. Don't. I, I, I know it's gross, but I'm that's also very impressive. Ugh. Didn't expect them to get so vivid with all the gore. I think I chopped the arm off. I think you chopped his arm off. Too, that's really and... cool. I mean, we did see procedural destruction on... On the face. Yeah, on the first one's face. I, that's actually really cool. So this looks like a press room. Where they had set up their cameras and they were having someone talk. I don't really see much of any interest in here. I'm surprised I guess we got the, the ammo of... from the one dude. Yeah, I'm just surprised at the lack of things to look at or read. I guess we get more stuff to read later. I, it took a little bit to actually find any pertinent lore. Oh man, there's a ton of bodies over here. Let's see. The press watchman's room. room. Okay. East office. Bath. Bathroom. Bathroom. I could use that. <laughs> oh yes. That's the woman's room though. Cop man needs a poop. There's going to be one in the stall. Okay, that's overflowing. Can we desist? Uh, I would, okay. I would like my poopers less flooded. Can I? No. Okay. Okay, I have reloaded. Really? They d they didn't do the classic toilet zombie? Oh, they will. Just not yet. I'm assuming we have they're faking us out for a little while. For before stuff gets gnarly. Well, it's going to get gnarly here. What is going on with that model? I think physics turned on. Jesus. are probably getting torn off the other oh no oh god oh no this is this is horrendous oh why 
I mean, it is a zombie game. They did not do this in the old game. They did not. Why are you tapping me on the shoulder? It's okay. I'm patting you. It's okay. I, like, okay. Don't eat it. So I, I have watched quite a bit of, of zombie, um, well, post-apocalyptic zombie media in my day. And a lot of them are fairly grotesque. But I, I didn't expect that from this. Oh, here we go. There are three medallions. And so one's it. Wait, look, there's the combination. Yeah, so there's the lion. There's the lady and there's the unicorn. And so if we put in the combinations. Uh, now they're feasting the on the guy's legs. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, that is unrealistic. <laughs> is it just going to slurp out the other side? Yeah, I think it's just going to be there until I open it. We're going to have some weird physics The creepy thing about the cop that you attempted to save but failed to is that isn't he just going to start crawling after you later? Shouldn't uh, you shoot his head off? Uh, you know what? Yes. Can't burn bodies. Oh. Is it... Okay. Yep. He isn't destructible. So I can't burn bodies. 